Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ignite with me. Well, today we're looking at the last Placencia. I overlooked this one uh, yesterday. This is the Placencia 149 Coseca. This is the last Placencia that we have in house to review. And then we're going to move on to Crux, which I'm going to start picking up today. So, let's get started. Hmm. It's got a little bit of kick to it. It's uh, the def is definitely a dark chocolate note, very noticeable. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Some cedar in there as well. I think that's that's where the kick is coming from. Yeah, this is very good. Yeah, I dig this. There's some earthy taste notes to this as well. Overall, the review the review that I taste that I sorry that I read pretty accurate on this. Cigars International. I don't always agree with Cigars International. Sometimes I just tell you, sometimes I tell you a little bit different. Um, and you're free to disagree, of course. I'm not insisting upon my own way. Um, but indeed, this is a good cigar. It's a nice cigar. It feels good in the hand. Um, yeah, I think that this is a winner. If you like dark chocolate, cedar, some, you know, dark chocolate with some spice. It's basically like a spice dark chocolate. On the finish there, there might be something like a gingerbread. I did read a few other taste notes, but... I'm trying to see if that's true. It's kind of like a little bit of sweetness there. Either way, definitely worth your time. Come by me, Tola Fine Cigars, Tuscaloosa. Pick one of these bad boys up and tell me what you think in the comment section below. Hope you have a great day and be blessed.